Well, a day after canceling classes because of an online threat, the Adair County School Superintendent says the students responsible have been found and have been charged. But this isn't the only school district investigating threats this week or the only county where juveniles are facing charges. WKYT's Grayson Passmore talked to law enforcement who urge parents to convey the seriousness of making threats on social media as your children could be charged with felonies for doing so. It's our top story at 11. A clear message coming from Adair County School Superintendent Jason Faulkner one day after he was forced to cancel classes following an online threat. We have discovered that their intention behind this post was to pressure us into canceling school. These students will face charges for making terroristic threats and we will seek the maximum penalties associated with this offense. Faulkner says law enforcement quickly traced the social media post back to a group of students. While he says the group may have thought the post were funny, felony charges they may face for threatening other safety are no laughing matter. One post that contains threatening co content can carry extreme consequences. Juveniles at Anderson County and Garrett County are now facing terroristic threatening charges as well. Richmond Police Chief Rodney Richardson urges parents to convey the seriousness of posting threatening messages on social media with their children. Some, some kids do it and think it, they're being funny or they do it out of anger. And it's a very serious offense. And law enforcement is, you know, uh, every law enforcement agency that I'm aware of, including the Richmond Police Department, take these, take these threats very seriously. Those at the Kentucky Education Development Corporation say some districts have implemented pilot programs where phones are taken during the school day. But more than that, Nancy Hutchinson says it's just going to take a community effort to address the issue. Lots of times they're from kids that just don't understand the severity of it. And it's got to be heightened and, and this social media situation has got to be uh, looked at. In Lexington, Grayson Passmore, WKYT. Education Commissioner Robbie Fletcher said in a statement that they are concerned about the amount of class time missed, but their primary concern is safety of students and staff. And we do have a full list of all of the school districts investigating threats this week and where those investigations stand right now. That's on our website. Just go to WKYT.com.